to give to give a little a little summary. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to whom? I'm talking to your decision maker, Yang. Can you hear me? Yang. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Good one. Okay. The son of God had a tiny mad idea. What would it be like to go and play? on my own. And having had that idea, it took it seriously. That's the problem. It took it seriously. And having taken it seriously, it had to come up with a plan so that it wouldn't undo itself. So it wouldn't choose God again. So it deemed this decision a sin. And guilt and fear. And guilt for choosing, for, for, sin, for sinning and the fear that God would punish us for this sin. This sin, guilt and fear was the first level to keep us mindless, mm. to stop us getting back to that part of the mind that chose separation. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Because it's prior to what you're saying now. I don't, if, in the beginning, there was only oneness, how can we get a tiny mad idea if there's only oneness? Yeah, well, the answer is we didn't. Uh, so, yes, yes. <laughs> you probably don't like that answer, but I didn't really, I didn't really like your question. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be basic, wouldn't it? I mean, that's the start. Yeah. How, how can we get it if we can't get it? Yeah, well, we didn't. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah, it, it rolled out and rolled back in the same moment. Yeah, but how come God didn't know because we were one with God? Ah. There is one, one sentence in, no. in the Course that says, you will ask this one question in a thousand different ways, how did the impossible occur? Mm. And almost every question we have here is exactly that, how did the impossible occur? And the answer is it didn't. Okay. That it's a dream. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for asking. Okay, yeah, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> we want our money back. Why are we here actually at this course? Douglas? Why, why are you? <laughs> I, 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 I'll give you that question. Oh, yeah. I'm Why responsible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why the hell am I here? Why am I here? <laughs> so this plan that the ego came up with so that it wouldn't undo that decision, the first layer was this sin, guilt, and fear. <coughs> the myth of sin, guilt, and fear. It's just a construct. However, it wasn't sufficient enough, so it came up with a second plan so that we wouldn't feel this um, sin, guilt, and fear. We'd look for something outside of us to blame it onto, so it projects a world. So now we project it outside. So you're the bad guys, I'm the innocent victim. And that's the best that the ego has managed to come up with so far. <laughs> it's foolproof, but it's not God-proof. It works most of the time, because most of us have forgotten that we've ever made this decision to be separate in the first place. Most of us didn't even know we've done it. All we experience is this feeling of alienation and separation here, most of the time. There probably isn't anyone who doesn't feel it at some time or another. And along comes a teacher that says, hey guys, have you any idea? Do you have a clue what's actually happening here? <laughs> no, no religion has ever come up with an answer. No spirituality has ever come up with a full answer of what's going on here. And in a way, nothing's going on here. <laughs> but we think it is, and this is the problem. And Jesus comes along and tells us how we have dreamt of this dream here. And it's, it's um, the strategy of the dream <clears throat> and also how to awaken from the dream.
And we awaken from it by undoing what we've done. We reverse the process of coming down the ladder. And as Katya so wisely said that uh, acceptance is, is one of the greatest tools that we can have. Oh, I accept that I'm dreaming this insane dream. I think it's easier because it brings it down to earth instead of all of those <coughs> Uh, things in the book. <laughs> uh, I don't mean that, but some of the sure metaphysics are just not working for me. It's like it's jump for me, jumping steps, and I really wanted to, but it's not working. Well, how how Ken says it is, it's very important that we understand the metaphysics, because how can we do forgiveness if we don't? Why would we Why would we watch? Why would we watch our ego choices if we didn't understand why we chose them in the first place? Mm. Okay. He says, have the metaphysics right there on your shoulder and then get on with your life. Mm. Don't keep churning over them. Have, have it there and then work with your reactions to everything that seems to show up. Mm. Keep it simple. You don't have to understand is this a, is Yan sitting there because we as one are collectively dreaming of Yan or am I doing it personally? Who cares? It doesn't, it doesn't help. It keeps us actually out there. <coughs> <coughs> but the reactions to I, that I feel of <laughs> Yan sitting there are enormous. <laughs> I could work with that for a lifetime. <laughs> On their greatest teeth. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to get it? <laughs> Can you stop thinking that I'm here? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely.